Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have some good quality makeup products that I wanna recommend to you that are all under $10. I came up with this idea because I was like, man, everybody's on a tight budget right now. There's a lot of uncertainties out there. And so we just have to really try our best to live our life the way we want it. But also we have to be budget conscious nowadays. I thought I would just look into my collection and see what are the products that are really good that I believe are worth purchasing and it's not gonna hurt your wallet. So let's get started. I'm gonna be talking about makeup tools, but also makeup in general. So let's get started with this Eco Tools brush. Now this isn't just any Eco Tools brush. This is from their soft and sensitive line. This is called the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. It costs around $9.49 at Target. I believe I got mine at Target. This is from their soft and sensitive line. So what that means is that it's super soft. Even my son was so amazed when he like did this to his skin. He was like, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Like it's literally the softest thing. It competes with any high-end brand. Highly recommend it, super affordable. It's in a similar packaging as, you know, all the Eco Tools packaging, but you wanna pick the one that says sensitive. So the one that says for sensitive skin, it's extra soft and extra fluffy. Eco Tools is Leaping Bunny certified, which means they are vegan, cruelty-free, they don't test on animals. Um, and the good thing about it is that everything that they make is made out of recycled materials, recycled bamboo, recycled aluminum, and plastic. So, you know, this is good for the environment, and at the same time, it's good for your skin. So it claims to have 70,000 bristles in here, so you can really tell it's dense. You know, it's really dense, but really soft. You can kind of see that it just sinks into your skin, so it's very fluffy, even though it's dense and high quality. So, highly recommend this, guys. Oh my gosh, this other eye is watering so much. You can kind of see that white streak that's kind of ruining my eye makeup, but... So, the next item are these L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour eyeshadow. And they're $7.99 at, um, I believe I got them at Walmart a long time ago. And what I love about these eyeshadows is that they're so creamy and buttery. It's not new. I mean, the Infallible line of makeup from L'Oreal for the most part has always been very good. What I love about it is that they last forever. I've had this for, I wanna say guys, for about two years and they are so buttery and creamy and pigmented just as though they are brand new. I am so amazed at the quality of these single eyeshadows. And if you are that type of person that is just a one shadow kind of gal or guy, they have a lot of options. Definitely go and check this out. The packaging is beautiful, by the way. See, you can see the color at the bottom. I haven't encountered a color that didn't work for me as far as quality goes. You know, I feel like all of the colors were made really, really well. Another affordable brand that I just recently discovered last summer. This is CoverGirl. Let me clean it up first. <laughs> this is the CoverGirl clean matte bb cream i definitely use this so much during the summertime whenever i want to put on makeup or i want to hide some imperfections without really having a full face on this is what i go to i would say a good good medium coverage but it's buildable and i wouldn't say it's light coverage at all like most bb creams it feels cooling on the face so i love it during the summertime this bb cream is 6.99 perfect for oily skin it has a matte finish did i say it's a clean brand so there are no harsh chemicals i believe it's vegan and cruelty free but i'll double check that if it is so i'll put it here on the screen it's a water-based foundation so it feels like water on the skin and it's great for sensitive skin so highly highly recommended they have a whole line of clean 
products right now it's the ones that are in the white or i believe even pink packaging i think the pink one is for luminous skin or like more for like normal to dry skin the one with the blue line and just clear white packaging is for oily to combination skin so i love this summer is coming up i think you guys need this in your life let's talk about the nyx nyx stuff i love this and i've already hit pan and i haven't bought one yet what am i waiting for because it's under ten dollars right the nyx hd finishing powder is three dollars and fifty cents um now i can't tell you that it's made with good ingredients it has dimethicone it has talc in it it's made for more oily skin but what i like to use this for is for brightening under the eyes and you can tell in this side by side video of mine that you know it instantly brightens under my eyes i love that because sometimes when your shadow your eyeshadow could get out of hand it's great at cleaning out mistakes in a way and what i love about it is that even though i'm a medium skin tone gal this is a very translucent fine powder i also like to put it in the middle of my nose you know as a replacement for a highlight when i don't want to be too glowy especially in the summertime i put it in the middle of my forehead around my chin and on my nose i still love to put highlight here on my cheeks though so you know so i'm not gonna go that far by the way it comes in three shades a color correcting shade and also banana shade i think the banana shade would be perfect for like anybody that has tan to darker skin tone this is three dollars and fifty cents guys i need a replacement stat since we're in the subject of nyx i may as well bring out my nyx jumbo pencil i have two i have the black one and i also have the white one i love to use them as an eyeshadow base so the white one when i want a color to really pop i use this i love to put this on and it really makes the color more vibrant on the eyelids and the same goes with this one if i want to deepen up an eyeshadow i personally haven't used it as a like an eyeliner but i feel like it's too creamy and it's a little bit irritating on the eyes otherwise it's perfect as an eyeshadow base when you want to change up or zhuzh up the color of the eyeshadow if you know what i mean this is um four dollars and fifty cents you can find them anywhere target walmart walgreens well don't quote me on that but those are kind of the usual places for nyx the next one is from color pop the color pop super shock cheek eyeshadow uh, not eyeshadow but highlighter this is in the color lunch money and it looks like that try it here can you guys see that so the highlighter is buildable but it's like the perfect subtle highlighter for me and i love the super shop formula the eyeshadow or the highlighter it feels like wet sand guys i love it so ColourPop is 100 percent cruelty free but not all of their products are vegan but this particular product this highlighter is cruelty free and vegan at the same time the brand in general is like a cult favorite for everybody especially if you're a makeup lover like myself sorry i'm trying to clean this as well cleaning my makeup and doing youtube YouTube. see that's multitasking if you want to know more about other color pop products i did a full face of color pop only color pop products on my face i have a video of it and i'll put it up in the description here or at the end cards at the end of this video maybe there's other products that you haven't tried from color pop and definitely check out that video to learn more next one is the milani make it last setting spray this is an oldie but a goodie it primes it corrects and sets makeup i don't know that it corrects um i've never you know reapply this during the day it definitely sets my makeup i go for this when my skin is feeling a little combo to dry so this is more of a hydrating one but i know milani has an actual dewy or hydrating version of this setting spray definitely check that out if you have dry skin i have oily skin so this works for me it sets your makeup for 16 hours i don't know that that's true because really it all depends on the foundation to me and and everything else underneath it so 
it just it sprays nicely it doesn't like poke you in the eye or anything so <laughs> milani make it last setting spray is eight dollars and 99 cents speaking of milani let's talk about it one of the newer launches from milani and i'm obsessed i'm not sure how new but i'm guessing it's sometime this year it's marked new on their website i've had this for about two weeks i wanted to compare it with the natasha denona five pan palette that i had bought and i'm telling you guys this is so much better i feel like this would be the comparable dupe for it not exactly dupe because they do have different color schemes but kind of that greenish camo uh, color scheme did i tell you guys what this is this is the milani's most wanted palette and i'm telling you now this is definitely going to be the most wanted palette it's nine dollars and 99 cents i think this is available at walgreens ulta and target they have five different variations of this palette they have like purples, um, pinks and reds, um, like warm tone, orangey, brown colors, and nude colors. So they have everything. Look at the packaging. It looks like high end. It looks amazing. Depending on what colors you gravitate towards, you could just buy that one palette. This one is cruelty free and vegan. Let me just swatch this for you guys. Your left to right oh okay i'm so bad at swatching okay so this one is like copper tone and this one i thought was going to be a warm brown but it's actually a very cool tone brown and this green is amazing amazing pigmentation guys and the color is so vibrant it's such a vibrant kind of forest green taupey shimmer it has a little bit of shine or shimmer to it but not too metallic and then this one is like a greenish greenish gold this white cream shade is kind of a little bit powdery this is the one that i'm least impressed with but the color shows the pigmentation is there this one is just the bomb.com so I think my son would laugh at me if he hears me say bomb.com. You know, I feel like I'm a little too old for that, but um, hmm, I don't know. Next one, you guys, I'm not going to talk a lot about this, but the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation is a newer launch this year. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation yes i finally got the name right i did a review on this so if you want to know more about this foundation definitely check it out very affordable under ten dollars definitely worth checking next one is the birds and bees lip balm my aunt actually gifted this to me i've never really looked into it or dived into this brand before this is like their original beeswax lip balm and it's amazing it's 100 percent all natural it contains beeswax vitamin e and a little bit of peppermint oil that kind of gives you the cooling sensation on the lips i love this because it's not greasy or oily i feel like it's not like dripping all over my mouth it doesn't contain harmful ingredients for you especially it's something so near to your face and mouth and so highly highly recommend this i love to use this when i'm about to apply makeup as a prep it's not thick and i feel like whatever type of lippy that i want to use it just works with this so sometimes you use a lip gloss and sometimes you have to take the excess off before you put on your lip product so that's definitely not the case with this you know it fully absorbs without being oily so love this product We're almost done guys this is the sunny's fluff mate lipsticks a new brand that was introduced to me this is a brand from the philippines i have quite a few subscribers from the philippines maybe they're just my friends but that's okay my cousin who is a makeup artist recently talked about this sunny's face brand and it's a very affordable lippy lipstick and they are really well known for their lipstick right here one swipe it's full pigmentation very creamy this brand is developed in italy um, but they're based in the philippines i don't know that they're selling their products internationally i wouldn't be surprised if they start coming to the u.s this quality guys is like pat mcgrath quality and i first opened a tube from my pat mcgrath lipstick and this one they look so similar they have this kind of like 
matted finish on them but you know it's gonna be creamy and it glides on nicely they came out recently with their nudish line of lipstick and i can't wait to have my hands on them this was founded by women who were really obsessed about color and finding the perfect shade the perfect lip color it's 100 percent cruelty free there are no parabens so this is 399 pesos which amounts to about eight dollars and fifty cents depending on the exchange rate so you can do the math with that high quality product sunny's face guys be on the lookout for that this is the newest sponge from elf and it's about five dollars okay it's dirty it's nasty but it's it was clean before <laughs> i love this it's like a beauty blender dupe guys i love this for my under eyes for applying concealer because it's so soft and bouncy this is as close as it can get to the beauty blender as far as how soft and bouncy it is um this might not be like the best for foundation application but definitely for the under eyes it goes in deep guys it is five dollars and elf is 100 percent cruelty free vegan all that good stuff if you're looking for a sponge get this i love the shape of it and it's only five dollars the last one that i'm going to talk about is by l'oreal paris it is their rouge signature lip stain and this is what it looks like i haven't tried a lot of lip stains because they're not my thing i'm more of like very pigmented lipsticks like i want you to cover that dark line around my lips i mean if there's no color what's the point uh, you you're not a lip anything you're a lip gloss <laughs> but this is nine dollars and 99 cents at target i was kind of hesitant on putting this because it's like $11.99 at the L'Oreal website. So I'm just gonna put it in because it's definitely worth mentioning. When they first launched with this product, I think last year, they only had like nine, I don't know how many colors, but they were very limited. And now I looked up their website and there were like 10 or 12 additional colors totaling to about 30 plus shades you definitely find your favorite shade and what i love about this is it feels like water it's a stain guys so look at that it's like full-on pigment you can see the brown color and this is more of a what color is this 428 it dries down matte on your lips it's very thin but it has the pigment that i want it's not gonna stay on for a long time it's it's a stain it's not long lasting but when it wears down it wears down nicely so i can kind of build it do two to three layers and it becomes very opaque if you just want no makeup makeup look this is perfect as a one swipe one and done kind of product i'm excited to try more of like a summer or brighter shade from them so highly highly recommend this that is everything that's under ten dollars i hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and also i do some unboxings here and there so definitely check them out i hope you guys are all staying safe during this time i hope you guys are doing well and i'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon bye i spit on myself okay